Hi, my name is Ryan Lewis. I'm the Product Communications Manager for Mercedes-Benz Australia. And right now, it is my pleasure to walk you through the astonishing technical highlights of the Mercedes-AMG GT Black Series. Since 2006, the Black Series badge has been used to identify AMG's most track-focused road cars. And the GT Black Series really is the closest that AMG has ever come to building a racing car for the road. The GT Black Series is lighter, more powerful, and completely overhauled in its chassis and aerodynamics. It has motorsport DNA down to the smaller screw, and the link is both technical and visual, starting with this large, wide front grille taken from the GT3 racing car. It allows more air to enter, pass through the forward sloping radiator, and up out of this new carbon fiber bonnet. This bonnet is a crucial part of the overall GT Black Series aerodynamic concept. The two large exhaust air outlets guide warm air out of the engine bay and around the A-pillars. To see underneath, this motorsport cooling setup means there's no central latch. Instead, the release lever is pulled twice from inside and the bonnet can be lifted to reveal this four litre, dry sumped, twin turbocharged V8 mounted right back behind the front axle. What you have here is a complete rethink of the GT power plant and an engine that moves the game on significantly for AMG. It has a lighter, flat plane crankshaft rather than a cross plane item. That makes the engine freer revving and even more responsive to throttle inputs. It also brings in a new firing order, which gives the Black Series its own unique sound. But perhaps most significantly, it allows peak outputs to reach enormous heights of 537 kilowatts or 730 horsepower and 800 newton meters. Not only is that 107 kilowatts more powerful than the AMG GTR, it is AMG's most powerful production V8 engine to date. Acceleration from 0 to 100 takes 3.2 seconds and it will go on to reach 200 kilometers an hour in less than nine seconds. Each Black Series engine is assembled start to finish by a single person. Only six people are trained for the program and once an engine is finished, the builder signs their name on a special black plaque which is mounted on this engine cover. Further down at the front of the car is this extendable carbon fibre diffuser, which is specifically for racetrack use. It increases downforce by creating a vacuum under the car, and an elastic element on the underside stretches as the car goes faster to create even more downforce. For road use, these steel supports unclip and the diffuser slides back under the car. The aerodynamic carbon fibre continues down the sides of the car. These front fenders have integrated louvers on top and openings behind the front wheels that flow air to the new carbon fibre side skirts. Then in the wheel arches we have the Black Series tyre. The Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R was enhanced specifically for the Black Series in two Mercedes original compounds that are suitable for different weather conditions. The soft tyre fitted here even has the silhouette of the GT Black Series laser etched into the sidewall. Then the hard compound tyre has a vulcanised Michelin Motorsport logo for yet another link to AMG's racing programs. Moving further in, there's a specially designed coilover setup with damping that's adjustable in three stages. The ideal track setting is Sport Plus, which has a special feature here. It automatically recognises the quality of the track surface and adapts to it. Then there's manual adjustments for ride height, camber and anti-roll bar stiffness, all of which means finely tuned balance in any situation. The high levels of performance in this car come from an uncompromising development program. One example of the attention to detail that you may not have heard concerns the doors. The GT needs about 25% more closing force than a C-Class, for example. And the main reason is the seals, which were designed specifically for the GT to allow the windows to open and close at speeds above 300 kilometers an hour, should you ever need to. And because braking is as important as speed, a ceramic compound braking system is fitted as standard, which also cuts weight. Special pads and discs, along with aerodynamic measures that enhance brake cooling, actively prevent brake fade as well. Moving past yet more carbon fibre up here on the roof brings us to the rear of the car. 
Those aero measures at the front need to work in concert with a rear wing. These two wing boards are mechanically adjustable in three positions, and in the centre is an active aerodynamic element that electronically raises by 20 degrees. It's controlled from inside the car, either by the driving mode or on its own button, and like the bonnet, the wing is an essential part of the GT Black Series overall aerodynamic package. There's further evidence of the aerodynamic considerations once this lightweight rear hatch is opened. The hatch itself again is formed from carbon fibre, and then here at the back of the boot floor, we have these two metal pillars. And these are important because that rear wing generates up to 400 kilograms of downforce, which is transmitted through these pillars into the frame of the car. Under the floor is a seven speed dual clutch transmission, which has been reinforced to handle the higher torque output of the Black Series engine. It's housed in a remarkable carbon fiber subframe, and like the engine, the gearbox uses active mounts. Moving down low, this new carbon fiber apron and rear diffuser complete the aero package and show off the Black Series exhaust system. Underneath, it's made of thin walled stainless steel, while these rear silencers are titanium, and it all makes for a great sound inside the cabin. This interior is absolutely dripping in microfiber and carbon fiber. These fixed back seats are molded from carbon and finished with orange details for the Black Series. In this case, that helps to bring in that scorching color from the outside, a new paint known as Magma Beam. The roll cage behind me is made from lightweight titanium and fitted as standard for the GT Black Series in Australia. It also forms the mounting points for a pair of four-point racing harnesses that are included with the car for track use and they can be fitted without removing the regular three-point seat belts. In the middle here, the nine-stage traction control dial carries over from the GTR, though the system itself has been entirely reprogrammed for the GT Black Series. Elsewhere, the interior is beautifully finished with this orange stitching and unique details like these lightweight door panels. With a high level of standard equipment, the cabin experience really completes the Black Series offering. The Mercedes-AMG GT Black Series is the absolute pinnacle of the GT family, and I'm so glad that you could join me for a tour. The most powerful AMG V8 engine, the most expressive exterior design, and the most elaborate aerodynamics of any AMG road car to date. By taking AMG's proud motorsport tradition and making that experience available on the road, the GT Black Series offers the most distinct driving experience ever to leave the engineering departments at a Falterback and puts its own exclamation point on the Black Series legend. Thanks for watching.